Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Anna and I am a random stranger on the internet talking about beauty. Thanks for coming to hang out with me. So let's talk trash, shall we? I don't know why I'm fascinated by people going through their like empties, but I'm assuming if you clicked on this video outside of my husband who like watches all my watches all my videos, meaning he plays them and like hits the mute button. Outside of him, I am assuming you too share this weird fascination with seeing what people used up. So this is not a huge empties video. Uh, there are some people out there who I am like in awe of with how many products they use up. I'm not one of those. I just kind of use a couple things up, which side tangent here. I know my video is full of side tangents, but let's take a side tangent. Do you ever find yourself becoming like randomly competitive about the stupidest stuff in life? Like I will watch people's empties and it never bothered me until I started saving my own empties. And I like found myself getting competitive. Like, well, how does she use up so much product? Like, like what are they doing? And then I had to write myself in like, why do you care? Like, what is wrong with you, girl? Like, get your priorities in check. <laughs> like, I don't know. I have an overly competitive nature and it is not my best feature, but whatever. This is my January and February empties. Um, so it shouldn't take too long. Honestly, this intro will take way longer than the products, but let's get into it, okay? Big products first. So the first thing I used up is this Dove Coconut Hydration Conditioner for normal and dry hair. I use up way more conditioner than I use up hair, like shampoo. That's the word I've seen up. Partially because I have curly hair, but I think a lot of people do that. They really should just sell like bigger containers of conditioner that go with the shampoo. Use this up, liked it, would repurchase. The only thing that I'm kind of on the fence about is I'm kind of thinking about implementing the curly girl method. This is not curly girl compliance, so me repurchasing really depends on whether or not I decide to do that with my life. Second product I use up, this is the Herbal Essence Body Envy Volumizing Mousse. Loved this, loved this, loved this. Would we purchase? It was not too crunchy. I really felt like it did give me some volume. I have a hard time getting volume with my hair at this particular length. My curls really weigh me down at this point, but for the length I have, I thought it was really good. Also, this looks weird, right? I should do something about this. I'm just not sure what yet. I don't know. I'm, my hairstylist is fabulous, she'll fix it. Uh, next thing, this is a Rite Aid Renewal non-acetone nail polish remover. It was fine, there was nothing special about this. I purchased it because I needed nail polish remover and I was at Rite Aid. I would probably do the same if I was at a nail polish remover and at Rite Aid, but very unmemorable. Just used it up. All right, this is the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream. Um, this was in my 2018 favorites. It will probably be in my 2019 favorites. I have already repurchased one. I am working on it. I love it. It's my morning moisturizer, not too heavy, easy on my skin, cheap. What else can you ask for? Love it, love it, we'll continue to rebuy. This is a sample size that took me way longer to finish than I thought I should. Like it took me forever to finish this thing. It is the Skin Laundry Gentle Foaming Face Wash. Um, I did enjoy it, it did not break me out. I don't know if it really gave me softened skin, you know, but I really enjoyed the product. You, looks like there's a little in there. I should have clarified at the beginning of this. I stop using products when it becomes a chore to get to them. So this became a chore, but I had that, my favorite type of pump at the top, which has a little squeeze tube. Um, but yeah, I really enjoyed this project. I product, I would consider repurchasing it based on price. I haven't looked to see. Along the same lines, this is the Purity uh, Made, sim or the Philosophy Purity Facial Cleanser. I, when I was younger, this was my go-to, and then I got a sample somewhere along the way, and I didn't like it this time. You know, when I was five years ago, I really enjoyed this product, 
but for whatever reason, I don't know if my skin has changed or the formula has changed. Every time I used this, like my skin felt uncomfortable and like weirdly tingly, not in the tight, clean way, but in the like, something wrong with this product? Like what is, what is going on with this? Um, someone at Sephora told me it's because they use black pepper extract. I don't know if that's true or not, and that could be the problem. I don't have a reason not to believe her, but I don't have any, I didn't verify that. But yeah, I would not repurchase this uh, philosophy product. It just, it did not play nice with my face and I did not enjoy it. All right, I don't know how to say this at all. This is, I think the Renew, Rayo, Omega-3 hair mask. It was a sample I got God knows how long ago. It took this whole sample product. Let's see how much was in here. Uh, 22 ml. It took the whole thing to do one hair mask on my hair. I don't know what the original cost is, but I feel like based on that fact alone, I would not repurchase this because I feel like that is way, way too much product to have to use every time I want to do a hair mask. It did make my hair soft. I did feel like it was nice, but that's what hair masks do. So I just feel like it took too much product to get to the end goal. Would not repurchase. This is a sample size of the Benefit Gimme Brow. I got this, I think, in a Sephora play. I don't know what color this was. I should figure that out because this was actually closer to my true color. I really enjoy this product. I have bought a full size and I'm currently using it. There's that. This looks like, I don't know what that looks like. This is the Madame CK Walker uh, Coconut Oil Nourishing and Moisturizer. I love Madame CK Walker's hair products. I think they're great. Um, I liked this hair oil. I really enjoy a hair oil. I, on the night before I wash my hair, so when I come home from work, I, and I know I'm gonna wash my hair the next day, I put a bunch of uh, like oil that ends in my hair just because between the coloring damage I did a couple years ago, or last year, and having curly hair and all that, uh, my ends get really dry. So then I just oil the tips of it, sleep with it, and that has helped tremendously. This was a really good product. I would consider repurchasing based on the price. Little foundation sample. This is the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Perfector Blurring Skin Tint with Sunscreen. I like a fuller coverage makeup product. Probably also really dumb of me to use this up in the winter because you know, when you really want this product is in the summer, but I would not repurchase this. Um, it was completely unmemorable to me and I don't believe in buying products that I feel that way about. All right, this was a, the Tarte Quench um, Hydrating Primer Base. Let's see if you can focus on that. Maybe, nah, whatever. It was fine, nothing spectacular. Uh, I do not feel like it added any extra moisture. I could probably use a primer that did give me some moisture. I do have dry skin, but this one didn't do anything spectacular, so I would not repurchase. This is the Lancome Big Masseur Big Mascara. I did not actually, this is not a true empty. I did not finish this up, but it's all dried out. However, the reason I didn't finish it up is because this wand is ginormous, which is actually a flaw, I think, when you are trying out mascara samples, um, because sometimes the the wand, like the end that applies mascara is, if it's a naturally big one per the product, and it gives you very little space to work with, and so I felt like I got this product everywhere. I didn't have a lot of control over it. Maybe a completely different story with the full size, but I probably won't know because I didn't have a good experience with the sample size and there's a ton of mascaras that exist, so would not repurchase. A product I would repurchase, because I feel like I've been on a negative roll, is this is the Lancome uh, Seals Booster XL. It is a mascara primer and I know it looks like it has a bunch of product left on there, it does not, but I really enjoyed this product. Now, 
I will admit I'm a little iffy about the whole premise of a makeup primer, like a mascara primer. I mean, shouldn't the product do okay on its own? Like, you know, you know what I'm saying? Like mascara, step up and do your job. But it did give me that extra big bit of like va va boom. I did enjoy it on days when I was feeling like a little bit extra, but not so extra that I wanted to wear falsies. This product was really enjoyable and I would consider getting a full size because I enjoyed using it and I feel extra a lot. All right, another foundation sample. This was the Makeup Forever uh, Ultra HD. I have a bunch of these samples. They must really be trying to hawk this and if you love this, I apologize, but I don't like this product. I don't feel like it lasts at all. And I will admit I am hard on foundations. If you've watched any of my like nurse foundation road trips, I need foundation that can last 14 hours. And by 14 hours, I mean go hard or go home, working codes, talking to patients, you know, like, I need ER standards when it comes to my foundation. And this just, it couldn't even play ball. So if you were working a different environment or you only needed a couple hours a day, or maybe you just have a different skin type than me, I do have dry skin, maybe you'd enjoy this. I could not stand it and I would not, not only will I not be repurchasing it, I'll just immediately be tossing or giving away any of the other samples that come from it because I did not enjoy that product at all. All right, this is a little Trestique. Um, I'm just, this product I kind of used up all the way. It was a mini shadow crayon. Um, I, it was okay, you know. I like the, I love the idea of the shadow crayons. You know, you just pop them on set it and go but this one kind of slipped on the lids and I didn't really think I didn't really think much of anything about it so I would not repurchase okay another cleanser I must have just actually I know what happened I was like halfway done with a bunch of cleansers and so I just was like Anna get them done because I have another cleanser this is the glam glow super cleanse clearing cream to foam cleanser <laughs> this one uh, it was fine. It was a little foamy, you know, um, but did nothing good for my skin, so would not repurchase. Didn't dry it out, I just didn't really enjoy it. All right, last makeup products. This is not going to look finished, I understand that, but I can assure you that it is, if I can get to it. This is the Becca Aqua Illuminating Perfecting Foundation. I know it looks this was just super watery and slippy and messy. Um, I almost don't even want to like open it to show you guys. This was a really weird container. So you like twist the lid up and then you press down this button and then you were able to like pull it out and the dipper had some makeup in it, but it was just really messy, really hard to work with. It was an okay, you know, foundation. Um, I wore it a lot on like Saturdays and days around the house where I just wanted a little bit of coverage, you know, even me out, but I wouldn't repurchase just because it was so stinking messy. And I was like, oh, I just, I don't know. I had to work really hard with that product and I am too lazy to work that hard with my makeup. This one I'm super excited about because it was in my project pan and uh, I'm not probably gonna finish a lot of my project pan makeup. So I was excited about this one. This was the It Cosmetics CC Cream, the full coverage one with SPF 50. Um, I love this product. You can see that there's like a little bit left there at the bottom, but it was like to the point that I was like having to squish it around and I couldn't get really the pump to work is a pump. Um, I should have, I could have taken it apart, but again, when products become really hard to use, I consider them done. I really like this product. It's a great travel foundation. Um, it does okay on my night shifts. 
but I particularly love to travel with it because of the sunscreen coverage. So would repurchase, really enjoyed it. Really proud of myself for finishing that up. So yay. All right, let's power through these last couple ones because this video is getting longer than I expected. Face masks. All right, so this is the Bath and Body Works Punk Begin Enzyme and the Victoria's Secret Sheet Clay Love. I have videos on both of these. Would not repurchase this not smart enough to figure that product out so definitely would not repurchase those and then i have two other victoria's secret ones that i didn't film videos on because i don't think they're available anymore just need to finish them up this was the spa sesh sea minerals and this was the now and zen namaste cool and calm with aloe they're fine completely unmemorable so would use them if I had them, but wouldn't necessarily go out of my way to get them. But yeah, that was all my trash. Thanks for hanging out and going through it with me. Uh, if you are someone who also does empties, I would love to watch your videos. Link them down below. If you have any questions or anything like that, feel free to ask. Thanks for hanging out with me, guys. Go be fabulous and you. Bye.